Alone by Barry Falls. What's so on? The book is called Alone. It is published by Pavilion. The copyright is 2021, written and illustrated by Barry Falls. And this is a brand new book out there, and people should be able to buy a copy for themselves if they would like. The little mouse says, find me in every picture. And we're not going to spend our time doing that. But if you buy your own copy of the book, then you can look very closely and find him. There was once a boy called Billy McGill who lived by himself on the top of a hill. He spent every day in his house all alone, for Billy McGill liked to be on his own. This is my hill, said Billy McGill. I live here alone. Always have, always will. Splendid aloneness, yes, that was the aim. So nobody called and nobody came. Life was so fast down below in the town with the people, the traffic, the rushing around, the hustle and bustle, the coming yeah. and going. The world never stopped with its toing and froing, but life on the hill stayed exactly the same. Nobody called, nobody came. And then that. This is my hill, said Billy McGill. When I live. Over. When it's over. I live here alone. Longer. It's what it is. It's a little bit longer. I live. This is my hill, said Billy McGill. I live here alone. Always have, always will. From morning to night and all the year round, there was barely a whisper and barely a sound. Not a plip, not a plop, not a hum, not a creak. Till one day, the horror scratch. And squeak! Billy searched high and low and all over the house until under the bed he discovered a mouse. No, Billy muttered, I can't accept that. So he went into town and he brought back a cat. This is my hill, said Billy McGill. I live here alone. Always have, always will. This cat will give chase to the mouse. Yes, it will. And then peace will return to my house on the hill. But the cat liked to play, and the mouse was the same. And they both thought the chase was a wonderful game. Oh, no, Billy cried. It's a dog that I need. It'll chase off this cat and this mouse with great speed. Mm. Mm. Then one, okay. Does escalating a war ever solve mm. anything? Okay. But the dog joined the game with the cat and the mouse, and they ran in circles all over the house. Oh, no, Billy cried. What they need is a scare. So he went to the zoo and snuck out with a bear. But the bear felt quite tired and with hardly a peep. He and the cat and the dog fell asleep. Oh no, Billy cried. I must wake them up quick. That actually looks pretty cozy, doesn't it? A dog and a bear and a Where? cat and a Where mouse all sleeping together. We have a whole pile of new books to give away sometime to 
some organization that maybe gives books to children. We will find, we will find a time and a way. A roar from a tiger might just might do the trick, but the tiger he fetched oh boy, tiger, right? had a terrible sneeze, and the roar when it came was no more than a wheeze. This won't do, Billy said. I must get him a vet, for I will get rid of these animals yet. This is my hill, said Billy McGill. I live here alone, always have, always will. The vet, when she came, said, let's knit him a sweater. This beast has a cold. It will make him feel better. I can do it for you. You must get me some wool. Find a sheep with a coat that is fluffy and full. So, the sheep Billy found was as big as a cloud. Oh, How on earth will I oh, clip yeah. it? He wondered aloud. This is Billy right here. My friend's a hairdresser. He'll know what to do, said the vet. He will shear this sheep nicely for you. So the vet asked her friend, can you help? He said, maybe, as long as you're there to look after my baby. This is my hill, said Billy McGill. I live here alone. Always have, always will. And he doesn't even notice the mouse in his hair, does he? As soon as they came, the poor babe started crying. And the hairdresser said, There's just no use in trying. I can't shear the sheep while my baby's upset. We must get him a toy. Oh, the poor little pet. To the toy shop, said Billy. I'll be back very soon. He returned with a fabulous... Oh, I already told you. Bright red balloon. Oh, how perfectly chosen, the hairdresser said. His favorite color has always been red. But just at that moment, the wind began blowing. The house was besieged by a thunderstorm growing. Hmm. It's like an afternoon thunderstorm over the Rockies. The balloon disappeared in a gust through the door. The hairdresser screamed. The baby cried, sore. Enough, Billy roared. I can't take any more. All this noise and confusion and what is it for? This is my hill. I am Billy McGill. I live here alone. Always have. Always will. With a huff, with a puff and a miserable frown, he trekked off through the rain to the far side of town and beyond through the valley and over the sea to a place high and lonely where no one would be. Now this is my hill, said Billy McGill. I live on my own. Always have. Always will. The evening grew cold and as the sun set, he thought of the tiger, the sheep, and the vet, and the dog, and the bear, and the hairdresser, too. And just then, a red balloon blew into view, and the poor little baby popped into his head. The baby, whose favorite color was red. He reached for the string, and he went down the hill. And over the sea he kept going until he had passed through the town and arrived at his house, the one with the dog and the cat and the mouse. 
There was noise and confusion and poop everywhere, and the sheep huh? was asleep with the bear on the chair. That's why like my husband. I'll fix this, said Billy. I'll fix it all soon. And he handed the baby the bright red balloon. The baby stopped crying and fell fast asleep. And the hairdresser set about shearing the sheep. The vet made a sweater the tiger soon wore. And the tiger, much better, recovered its roar. The bear, in a panic, ran out of the house chasing after the dog and the cat and the mouse. The rest of them left in a minute or so, and Billy was pleased to see everyone go. This is my hill, said Billy McGill. I live here alone. Always have, always will. Now Billy is happy. And peace is restored. His house on the hill is in chaos no more. There's hardly a whisper. There's barely a sound. Except every Tuesday when friends come around. And I'm trying to see everybody here. The cat and the dog and the baby and the hairdresser. And the bear, oh, and here's the, the tiger and the mouse is on the tiger. And the lady vet. And there's the bear playing outside with the balloon. Many balloons, many balloons. Friends together on Tuesdays. That's just about perfect. This has been Alone. It's brand new. It's out there. You can get your own copy. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Rachel's mom. Thank you for listening.